So um, Earth is constantly being bombarded by rocks from outer space. And we actually see these through these, the bright lights of, uh, that you see streaking across the night sky. Those are pieces of rock and dust that have entered our, our atmosphere. Now, what you might not know is that those pieces of rock actually never reach the surface. They, the atmosphere does a really wonderful job of stopping these rocks uh, they, it slows them down and then it burns them up in the atmosphere so they never hit the surface actually cause damage. Now on places like the moon where there is no atmosphere, uh, even the tiniest speck of dust can actually cause damage to the rocks. This uh, rock behind me, this is a picture of, uh, of a rock collected by the Apollo astronauts, Apollo 15 uh, astronauts, and that dark splotch that you see right in the center, that was a, a tiny piece of rock that just that was flying through space and it hit this rock and created what we call a crater. So if you have a thick atmosphere, you're not gonna see these uh, small craters at the surface because the rocks burn up in the atmosphere. And if you have uh, uh, no atmosphere or very thin atmosphere, you're gonna see smaller and smaller craters. So whether or not you see small craters at the surface of a planet or a moon, it it's a tool that lets you learn about what the atmosphere, how thick an atmosphere is. And so for my work here at UCLA, for my PhD, what I'm looking at is the atmosphere of Mars. So I'm looking at the surface of Mars and seeing um, how small of a crater we found, find at the surface. And you might be thinking, well, okay, so you look at the surface and you find a small crater, you don't, so what? Well, the atmosphere of Mars is real interesting because it's actually changed a lot over its history. Um, Mars's uh, tilt, we call that obliquity sometimes, so it spins sometimes straight up and then sometimes it's tilted and it spins. And that actually changes what the atmosphere does. So that's what causes it sometimes to be really thick. And so then you won't see uh, small craters at the surface and then sometimes the atmosphere is really thin and you will see craters at the surface. And so this is what I'm doing for my work. So I'm looking at different aged surfaces of the planet Mars and seeing how, how small of a crater we see at the surface. And you might be thinking as well, like, why do we care how thick the atmosphere of Mars is? Well, um, we think that the atmosphere is critical for habitability. So if we want to understand if maybe Mars has had life in the past, then we should understand how thick or how thin the atmosphere has been over its history. Thank you.